Ian, start of a, another big weekend and some great news to go into it with that Zav Amici is back fit and available. Yeah, Zav's obviously missed a significant period for us. Um, he was a marquee summer signing. We worked very hard in the summer to, to make that deal happen. Obviously never simple and easy when you're signing players from, from European clubs. Um, and he got an unfortunate injury in pre-season and we've not seen him since, but um, he's worked really hard during his re rehab. Um, and he's looked razor sharp in training and he's ready to be involved. I imagine though there's still a, a degree of not caution, but yeah, I'm not suddenly going to chuck him in game after game after game. He's still got to feel his way back a bit, I would imagine. Yeah, I mean, obviously yeah, we think he's a top player, um, but we're going to need to have patience with him. Um, no player who's been out for that period of time can can really be true to themselves and hit the ground running from day one. We need to obviously build his minutes back up and build his performances back up and hopefully in the next couple of weeks we'll see a, a back fully fit and true to form Zabamichi. And with Bakker as well, uh, I believe he's back to full fitness, the attacking options are going to be uh, increased? Yeah, Bakker's looked sharp again this week. Um, obviously, similar to Zav, I mean, he's had a, a different journey to Zav because he started the season and looked very good. Um, but since then, really, we've not had him in one piece. Um, he's been playing with injuries. He's had two significant injuries and we've been missing him, um, so to speak. But now he looks back fully fit, fully focused and ready to go. Declan John fit as well and equally Josh Sheehan. Just tell us about Josh because he could have been away with Wales, but the bonus is he's with us for Friday night. Yeah, Josh picked up a, a back injury against Rochdale. Um, he was then called up to the full Welsh squad but wasn't able to take part for us on Sunday. We we spoke with Wales and credit to them, you know, they saw it best to leave him with us, which is great. Um, he's now recovered from that back injury and ready to play tomorrow. And it's a big game tomorrow night because you've started the month solidly to decent cup results. We've got another bite at the cherry against Stockport, but the league is where it's at, of course, and, and this is hopefully the chance to maybe start a run. Yeah, we need to start winning league games again. Obviously, we had a rough a rough run in October. Um, as I said, it was only it's only one month. I think we've we've kind of stopped the rot a little bit now, and we need to focus on on getting three points tomorrow night and making home form count because you've got a, a good run of home games coming up. Absolutely, we've got some fixtures that we deem winnable over the next month or so, and you know it's never that simple or easy. We need to go out and perform to our levels to make sure we win those games. But we're looking forward to it. Yeah, people might look at the league table, and as you say, think it's easy. It never is, of course. But as you say, play as you can do and back yourself. Absolutely, that's what we have to do. I mean, we've been in worse positions than this in, in my tenure, really. Um, we've had worse runs than this. So we just need to keep calm, keep focused, keep composed, and we know we'll turn it around. A busy period because FA Cup next week, uh, uh, Doncaster game midweek, and then the Papa John's trophy draw is on Saturday, so we'll know who we get by the end of the month. So it's going to keep you busy, but I know you like playing games. We do like playing games, and as I said, you know, all our players, touch wood, seem to be recovering at the right times. We seem to have good availability at the moment um, it's only young Harry and, and Gethin we're really missing so yeah as I said we've got bodies coming back all the time they're getting fitter and stronger and it gives us a chance to to get some minutes into everybody there is another game on Sunday which has a different sort of importance obviously the priority at the minute is crew and hopefully winning that but the game for Gethin and for his mum on Sunday and I know all the lads are hopefully going to be around and involved you're possibly going to play yourself that's a great thing that the club's doing and uh, it couldn't be for a better cause Absolutely, I think again that this is a marker of, of how far this club's come. I think our community, the fan base, uh, on and off the pitch, playing staff, non-playing staff, board, have really pulled together on this one, and, and we hope and wish Gethin's mum um, all, all the very best. Obviously, um, I can't think of a more deserving person and family than, than Gethin's family to have something like this in their honour, and hopefully we do it justice. But we need to take care of business Friday night first and win the game. If we win the game Friday, it will make the weekend a lot better go and enjoy yourselves and you might put the boots on yourself and you won't be the oldest player on the pitch because there's going to be some uh, some uh, former players coming back as well so it's going to be a real good mix isn't it yeah well, I'm still in my 30s I'm hanging on to that till next week so I'm looking forward to that um, as I said before my, I think my days as a centre back are, are numbered I, I see myself more as a number 10 now um, but but yeah I'm looking forward to it as I said uh, first and foremost we need to, need to take care of business on Friday night and then after that we can relax and enjoy the weekend for Gethin and his family mm -hmm.